Hi guys and welcome back to Alice of Eva's Golf. Today I'm joined by Alex Forty from the Art Simple Golf and we've done a two-part video for you on the lower half in backswing and downswing. Mm -hmm. Part two is going to be on the Art Simple Golf channel so make sure you check that out. Okay, so the backswing. Alex, what we're going to talk about really is how we can prepare your kind of knees and feet, if you like, most importantly, and a little bit into your hips in the backswing that allows you to work in your downswing more productively. Okay. So if you so want to be in the right position, basically. Yeah. If you want to let's make you the guinea pig, Just jump on the mat here. If you take your address position. Now, basically, if you make a backswing for me nice and naturally, is if you're going to go and throw a ball. So what you'll see from Alex here, you'll see this left knee's worked in a little bit. This knee stayed quite stable. This right hip has worked up a little bit and the weight kind of is within his feet. It's pretty much exactly what I'd want you to do, okay? Now the amount these knees will move will depend a little bit on flexibility. If Alex was older and less flexible, this knee might have to work in a little bit more to allow him to rotate a bit more. So it's very much about finding your feet and what you're able to do physically rather than have prescription of your knee's gonna move 22 and a half degrees. You can't, okay? you can't basically say you have to be here. No. Not for everyone, anyway. No. I, I, want, I want to use the body a bit like a cog, so you know we work as much as we need to to kind of spiral ourselves up to the mm -hmm. correct position at the top of the backswing. So take the club in your right hand only and make a backswing for me now, as if you're going to throw this club, and we talk about this a little bit in, in part two of the video. Yeah. But what we'll notice here is, have you thought consciously about your lower half there? No. Okay. So that's kind of the amount you would need to move, and if we made you rotate a touch more with your upper half, that's kind of the amount your lower half needs to work for you to get this golf club into this position. Yeah. And we could argue whether we want this club to be a bit lower, a yeah. bit higher, but this rough position, this is how your body's had to work to cog itself up to that. So that got me into my perfect uh, loading position subconsciously, didn't it? I didn't yeah. have to try and do anything. No. And that's kind of what we want. You know, some players play very well when they're thinking of numbers and positions, but other people play well when it's much more instinctive. Yeah. Okay. Work out who you are, make sure you stick to your guns. But and probably even if you are an analytical player, you would benefit from more instinctive principles, yeah. at least some of the time. Correct. Yeah. And for me, if we got into the feeling as again, if we just took the golf ball and went into what I call a throwing position, mm -hmm. how we wind up through the ground upwards is kind of what I'm looking for from this video. It's okay. how we transfer the energy, how we load up, how much our knees and thighs rotate, and it will vary player to player. But the left knee is certainly going to be wanting to work in a little bit, I do talk in some of my videos about trying to create almost a box between the knees and the feet, so it's staying quite stable, so it's not collapsing in yeah. unnecessarily. So it's got to stay, you know, fairly Still rigid. Stability there, yeah. Yeah, and again, if you take it away from this club, and again, I wind, so this club gets pretty much in the middle of my stance, and I try and remove nothing from the lower half. There's <laughs> restriction in the hips there, that's where injuries and everything come from. Yeah, and that's probably my full range, right? Yeah. And then how I can complete my backswing then would be to allow my hips to move and then allow my knees to follow yeah. without obviously going wishy-washy with a lower half. But it's kind of, it's that corkscrewing effect winding up from it's the ground. It's mobility and stability at the same time, isn't it? Correct. But it's finding your own one, I guess that's the key. And that drill does it subconsciously. I didn't yeah. have to think about how much should I move my hips, how much should I move my knee. It went where it needed to go. Yeah. But with enough stability. Yeah. So, so, so for me, if we look at the two drills, this kind of throwing position, how does my body need to work and make sure we turn to get that throwing position? Yeah. How much do I need to load or unload and move? And also then club across your chest, middle of your stance, how your body works as a cog to allow us to get into position to be able to then start the downswing correctly. And I won't talk about the downswing because that's video number two. Well, there we go. But yeah, if you piece a couple of those together and you should be in a lot better you know, natural pattern with your golf swing. Yeah. More instinctive. Awesome. Yeah. Let's go ahead and just hit one okay. so we can show the viewers you in action. Do you want me to do one, one arm drill? No, just go ahead and just work, work up to the top. So you can do it as a re rehearsal. Just rehearse to the top, feel that kind of loading, and then go to the ball and just give it a whack away. Yeah, nice swing. Okay, yeah. so there you have it. How to instinctively, naturally move your lower half to suit your own flexibility, really, to allow you to be in a position with your lower half particularly, to allow yourself to move in the downswing correctly.
Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click like down below. If you haven't subscribed already to my channel, please do so. I've got regular content coming every week. And pop over to our Simple Golf and subscribe to them also. And post any comments or questions down below, particularly of videos you want me to do in the future. Thanks for watching.